Hey, it's Brack here, and have I got a treat for you today. Um, me as an orc. Now, I did the me as an orc challenge. Some of you may remember that um, a couple of videos ago, I painted myself as an orc and talked about it, which was a great exercise. But I also put the challenge out there to the Warhammer 40k community. That's the... Um, the Orc 40k community on Facebook and they're on Discord as well there'll be some links below and um, yeah to see if they could do it I could call it a non-challenge because it's a very personal um, type of thing to do and I didn't really want to sort of make people do it or put a prize or anything like that and uh, it went really well that I got some fantastic some really, really good entries, depictions, f depictions, sorry, I'm going to need another cup of coffee, um, of one's selves as orcs. They're fantastic, and um, that's what we're going to be seeing today. Um, and it's it's going to be great. I, I, I'm loving all the photos. All the, all the pictures of orcs that you'll see and maybe an odd Gretchen or two will be in there as well uh, yeah they're just they're just wonderful but before we go and see it I want to talk about coffee this is a lovely drop um, and I have to thank G the Hyper Sapien for this coffee uh, he bought me a coffee on the buy me a coffee page and here it is, I'm enjoying it, and if you'd like to give me a coffee, you can go there too. But let's, have, let's, let's, let's enjoy our coffee and look at some models. Okay, first up, this marvellous little creation from Angus. It's very monowheels, extremely orky. Uh, I love it. Some excellent kit bashing and conversion work done there. So, um, thanks for this one, Angus. Wow. Bad Moon Bill with his, well, what can I say? This is excellent, excellent work. Fine bases, it's Bad Moons, but he is Bad Moon Bill. So I suppose you expect that sort of shenanigans. And um, look at that, oh. I wish I could paint yellow like that. Well done. Great poses. Another excellent model. And here we have Casey's submission. A commando? A blood axe. I'm unsure it's all very brown and, and, and sneaky-ish. Sneaky There's a great looking shoulder weapon on there, so maybe he is doing his inner crook. Yep. I really like this one. Here is the pale green git, not to be confused with the pale orc. And this is a oiler for a big mech. I am almost speechless, almost. 
It's, 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 it's a hard ask me being speechless. But wow, the detail on such a small model. I'm um, I'm very impressed. And here we have the pale orc. Not to be confused with the pale green git. Now, the pale orc has done a little bit of a sneaky because I know this was not done during the month of August, but a little time before. But we'll forgive him because it's such a fantastic looking model. Yeah, this. Um, was kit bash and scratch built from little bits and pieces that pale has around the house now if you're familiar with pale's work he likes to just make some of these marvelous creations out of anything he find that he finds lying in the house that he's just his missus just doesn't sort of lock away he's onto it and he's got it he's a little bit of a womble in that way but he does some fantastic work here is a submission from dim the hobby git now this model was designed by gigat as um, which he did for um, all the four war bosses and uh, this is Dim, the the little the little Grotz friend here, and I'm I'm loving the blue hair, and uh, look at that work on that claw, the yellow and the black. That's really really good, and all those little Grotz hanging off him. It's a marvelous model, and a fantastic paint job. A little bit of cosplay here from Emil Den Otter, and uh, he's very looking very dashing there in his pirate outfit. I'm not quite sure I'd like to be hit with that. Is it a pike, or is it just a knife on a stick? But yeah, wonderful, wonderful work from from Emil there. And here we have the epic narrator here doing a little bit of self-promotion. This guy seems to pimp himself out more than what I do, which is, well, it's his thing and he can do it if he likes. And uh, yes, it's not an orc, but a grot with a very large weapon on his shoulder. So, uh, yeah, very. This it's, it's a really interesting build. This one, isn't it? Now, I do believe the weapon came from a a really old school dread uh, chaos dread from Space Crusade, and two different claws there. The blue ones. Oh, I might have this the wrong way around, but one of them is uh, a rogue trader power fist and the other one is a second edition one now i um yeah and that blood going off the yellow fist there it was made from some yoohoo glue which i think is teacher's glue and uh, and paint and he showed us how to do that i was watching this this morning on his twitch channel uh, and I watched him paint that very fast it was done in a couple of hours which was um, fantastic stuff which also meant that I could actually put this in on time so um, that's a win-win a little bit of kit bashing here from Everett Newman so uh, what have we got here I do believe it's knob it's knob size I think it's is that front 
I think Jaw from a um, old Aura Kick kit. There's there's lots of stuff going on here. Uh, that claw. What is that? It's just amazing stuff. And the gun is what, a, a, a scorcher or a flame of some sort and a big shooter stuck on top. Uh, yeah, look, interesting, Some a good cat, a good kit bash from Everett here. A fantastic sketch from John Hinton here. I'm not well quite sure what I can say about this. This is really, really good work. Um, is it a self-portrait? Well, I suppose technically it is. And um, look at the detail. I wish I could draw like that. Okay, we've got two different entries here from Laban Smith. Now, I don't know. He's, I couldn't say he couldn't do it. Maybe he's got a split personality. And that's no judgment here, folks. We don't, Brack doesn't like to judge. And uh, yeah, both, both great, good looking models. Fantastic. Um, let's have a look at this buggy first. Now, I do believe that's a death dread head. Um, yeah, we've got some, those guns, are they shooting? Yeah, they're, 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 they're boy shooter kits. And there's a orc boy, like a boss knob that comes out of the, out of the, um, the boys pack. And a little grot hanging off there. Um, fantastic stuff. Now this, this other, Thing. Now, is that a, I think that's an Orc Blood Bowl. Yes, yes, I do believe it is. And is that claw thing um, from one of those Death Dreads? There's definitely some Flash Kit boss poles in the back. Well, it looks like that. Maybe it's a couple of different boss poles made to, to look like that. And that gun what is that gun it's um pretty nifty stuff so Levan, both excellent pieces up next is peter parker no not that one or maybe it is you just never know do you you just never know the little goth there's some really great little checker work that going on there on that on that chopper oh beautiful stuff and the the little black hair is a nice um a nice touch and uh yeah good work peter just look at this from rex adams oh i'm fangirling over this one big time Blood X Commando. Well, that's what it has to be. Look at that 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 shooter with a silencer, the claw, the camo work. Oh, there's some fine painting done here. That white just looks great. Those skin tones. Oh, oh my god. Wow. This is fantastic stuff. Oh, wow. Let's just let take a little bit longer to bask in the glory, which is Rex's uh, Blood X Commando. It'd be a knob, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's it. Definitely a Commando knob. Some old gits left his head lying around. <laughs> I really have another model which has left me speechless it's a, it's a shame the pics a bit blurry but yeah that's a hit that's a head maybe some old git thinks he's just a head a 
Okay, here is one from Tom Zimbardo, or sometimes known as Mostly Zen. And uh, this is him, Mad Doc Zen. He wrote a little, a little spiel for it, so I'm going to read it out. Mad Doc, Mad Doc Zen began his career as an orc neuropsychologist, but most orcs have no idea what he was talking about and asked if he could give them replacement brains, just like a new power claw. Mad Doc Zen was happy to oblige and become an expert at brain surgery. In doing so, he became one of the most feared pain boys in the entire war. Fantastic work, Tom. This is great, great stuff. How do you do white so well? A little bit of blood spat splattering. Yeah. This, this is a good one. Last but not least is this wonderful piece from Garzinski, or otherwise known as Rivets and Dagger. So, uh, yeah, look at this. Mohawks warrior on a bike, all kit out, ready for the long road. This is fantastic stuff, and it is probably my favorite. It's going to be a close between that and, and, and Rex's. Although, they're all pretty good, but Rex and, and Gars definitely are just that, that, that yeah, fantastic stuff. And uh, let's just have a look at this one a little longer. Yep, Gar, fantastic stuff. Well, this is a bit different. Well, not really. This isn't an entry of someone painting themselves as an orc, but I painted someone as an orc, and this is Gear Guts Face Crumper. Now, why do I do such a thing? Well, Gear Guts is one of my, well, he is the only Patreon that I have at the moment. And what I'm doing for anyone who donates over at Patreon, they will be immortalized in orc form. Yes, I will put you on an orc model. Now the type of model will depend on the tier that you subscribe to. Now the the first tier, which is uh, $3, you will be put on either a, a boy or a Gretchen. Now the second tier, the Flash Kits tier, you've got a choice of all those specialist type of um, boy units. So looters, storm boys, tank busters, that sort of thing. And the top tier, which is the Big Mech tier, which Gear Guts um, subscribe to, and which I do thank him a lot for, is $25 per month, and you get a choice of a flash kit, knob, mega knob, or a mech. And, um, I randomly selected the this model for him and what I do is I will add your name and orchify it. So if you would like that, if you'd like to help me run this channel run this channel, 
then that's going to be really, really good. Help a brother out. Go to Patreon. The link is below. Now, once I've said that, it's time for me to go. So remember, if you're going crumping, you got to bash early and bash often. Did you like that video? Then please, by all means, like share and if you haven't done so subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos you could also help me out financially by going over to patreon making a small donation this will help with my ongoing costs but if you don't want to commit you can always buy me a coffee. The links are in the description below.